Well, well, well. That is that, my friend. 2022. It's here. Well, it's still 2021. Tomorrow's 2022. The market's not open until Monday. So we got two days to get prepared for the new year of trading and the new year of making money. Today, we're talking about AMC. We're talking about the overall market and what I'm looking at for 2022. Let's go. First off, I want to thank everybody. 2021, it's been a good time. It's been a lot of fun. Been making some awesome videos here on the channel, talking about AMC since June. Since June, we've been talking about AMC. You can look here at the chart right now. AMC with these lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. Having trouble there at the $30 level now. So I made a video just the other day, like two days ago, talking about this idea of AMC bouncing off of this 27 dollar level and pushing up here to this 29 to 30 dollar level and that's exactly what we got but you can see today today getting denied a lot of selling pressure there at that 30 dollar level and i think the bears are really in control as long as amc stays in this overall downtrend that we've been in since june the only way that the shorts are going to get squeezed the only way that you know anyone's going to get excited really about this play here is if this somehow magically breaks out of this overall downward trend. And we talked about this before, you know, in 2022, the things that would need to happen. And I really still feel like, you know, a big sell off down here to the $16 level would kind of set this up like this. And then at that point of consolidation, we kind of bounce around off of that. And then finally, you know, at a certain point, this just gets too tight and too much pressure off of that level. And then AMC would take off for another big run up, maybe, you know, 50, 60, 70 dollars on the next squeeze higher. If the truth is out there, like, it, you know, everyone talks about the shorts. They talk about everybody, you know, millions and billions and gazillions of shares being shorted and blah, blah. And there's, you know, so many theories at this point. And really, nobody knows for sure. There's, it's, you know, if it was. If it was so easy, you know, cut and dry, like, hey, this is the price of AMC, this is the squeeze, this is what's going on. If it was so simple and easy, you know, I feel like it would have already basically have happened. And it's interesting because you can see, like, this last kind of bounce back up to that resistance. It pulls back. It kind of gets this little high here. It pushes up to that resistance again and then starts to then waterfall off and sell off to this level down here at the $20 level. So almost looking very similar here, if it would push up to this level, that $36 level, and then starts to waterfall, similar like this move here. You can see we got a 50% drop after we touch that resistance there. So if we do that same idea here, and we go to the 36 level, where would that 50% drop be? It'd be right, ar right around $16. So it's not rocket science it's not magic it's just the way the cookie crumbles so if amc pushes up to this 36 dollars level i'm looking for that 50 percent pullback at that point right now i'm flat on amc i have no position open short or long or you know cop options calls or puts i ended up selling my call options yesterday when we pushed above that 30 dollars level and you can see here on the 15 minute chart just kind of how that worked out we had a beautiful push up to that 15 or $30 level there and then we just got murdered and sold back off down here at 28 so I basically saw that big push up we got stuck there multiple times ended up taking profit on those call options that I bought on what was that Wednesday I bought call options on Wednesday when we were down here at the $27 level I talked about it in the video here on YouTube so it's all out there you guys can see it. you can watch it and then this morning now AMC almost down there to $28 so Still hoping that we get a push up here. I would like to get a push up to this 40 to 36 dollar level on AMC, and I think there's some really good opportunity to buy some puts for that move down here to 12 dollars to 16 dollars after that. And like I said, you know, just based off of the previous moves here on the chart, getting that push up and then getting a 50 percent drop is kind of what I'm looking for here. Obviously, a 50 percent drop in the stock from that level of buying put options, well, that would be a beautiful return in terms of the overall return on put options now let's talk about the overall market here the spy that's why i know you guys are really here 
So the SPY has pushed up to that 480 level. I made a video earlier, um, basically back there in October, kind of predicting this big move here on AMC, uh, on on the SPY when it was down here at the 430 level. It rallied all the way up here to almost $480. And then now this morning, starting to sell off here, I think at the end of the year, a little bit of fear, people kind of uncertain what's gonna happen with COVID. And if we look here at this move, I ended up today buying the $472 puts that expire at the end of January because I'm thinking that the SPY at least pulls back down here to the 465 area going into January or lower. So kind of pulls back into this level here. We got the trend overall, but I think this trend more so kind of looking like this now, especially after that recent pullback down there. But the overall trend would put us down here below 470. So I have 470, $472 put options that expire in the end of January on the SPY right now. So that's my play going into 2022. I don't want to say I'm hoping that there's going to be more news for COVID or there's going to be more bad news that would make the market go down here. But I'm thinking that we're going to get a, some type of pullback here in the beginning of January and pull back at least to the support area there at the 460. So if we pull back to 460, that's a $12 move below my options, um, you know, my my option floor there, 472. So that would be a beautiful move down to the 460s, and I think it's very, very doable. So that's my kind of plan in terms of my trade going into 22, 20, going into 2022 here. That's my trade, that's my plan, and we'll see if it will end up you know, working out here and going that way. So finger, I don't want to say fingers crossed because we're not, you know, hoping and praying here, but we're looking for a move on the SPY to move lower here in the beginning of 2022. We've seen this before. Like if you go back to, uh, I guess, you know, it's hard to say because you really don't want to look at like January of 2021, but I guess we can look at January 2021. I think it was a different type of year after COVID and all that. But you can see the first day of 2021, we had a sell-off from the 375 level down there at 366. So there's definitely some opportunities for volatility in the overall market going into the beginning of the year here. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited either way. 2022, baby. It's lots of twos. 22. 22. 2 plus 2 equals 4. So with all that being said, 2022, it's coming. 2021, it's been, it's been a year. We've had some fun. Again, I want to thank everybody out there who has supported the channel. Basically, everybody out there that has supported. You know, if you've been a hater, you've been a supporter, you've been a lover. If you just watched my videos, if you've commented, if you've liked the videos, whatever it is, if you've disliked the videos, thank you again. It's been a great year. I want to wish everyone out there a happy new year. I'm hoping that everybody has a beautiful, happy, healthy, and new year here in 2022. Even the people that say they want to kill me or they hate me or I'm ugly or anything like that. Hey, I still I still love you, okay? We could all be friends. We could all be friends at the end of the day. The, the, you know, against popular belief, we can all agree to disagree. We can all still just be friends and we can be humans living on this planet that we live on. And we can look forward to another year and more fun and more activity right here on the channel. So if you guys haven't already... Hit that subscribe button. We're doing it big. 2022. I will talk to you guys later on.